The year I helped Santa. Dedicated to Nana Papa. Copyright at 1995 by author's name. All rights reserved. Printed in Oshawa, Ontario. The year I helped Santa. To Nana and Papa. From Chris. Chapter 1 One snowy and frosty night. It was Christmas Eve. I was drinking some ice-cold eggnog by the fire. The fire was dazzling as I watched it sparkle. I looked out the window and I saw my snowman standing still in the dark night. As it snowed, my snowman got bigger and bigger. My name is Chris, and I have dark green eyes. My hair is black, and I'm a normal size. At school, my favorite thing is reading, because I like goosebumps. I have a friend named Jack, and he has green eyes, brown hair, and he's a bit smaller than me. I think he really likes math because he usually beats me at school. I have another friend. His name is Brandon. He has brown eyes, blonde hair, and is a bit bigger than me. He really likes playing outside, but sometimes he gets into trouble. My parents think I'm in bed, but I'm not because I'm waiting for Santa Claus. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Hey, what's that sound on the roof? <laughs> Chapter 2 I ran to the stairs and peeked through the railing, looking towards the fire. I saw Santa come down the chimney. Oh no! What about the fire? I thought. I stood still. The fire went out, right out, magically. Then, just then, as I saw a bag, of toys go thump right against the ground of the fireplace. Santa popped out of the fireplace and placed about five gifts under the glowing tree and popped back up the chimney as fast as you can say, Jack! I couldn't believe my eyes. I saw Santa! I screamed. The next year, I think I'll help Santa. I'll be Santa's helper. Maybe he can turn me into an elf and I'll have no more school. I said, I thought it was a cool idea. A year later, chapter three. A year later, it was Christmas Eve again, and I couldn't wait to see Santa. This year, I was sitting in the chair I got last Christmas. He should be here soon because I sent a letter saying, Dear Santa, Please come to my house first. I live at 1258 Pentland Avenue. 
My name is Chris. I think that's him on the roof. I ran outside and up the ladder, the ladder from my fort. I saw Santa go down the chimney and back up in a flash. Hey Santa, I said, can I help you deliver presents? He scratched his chin. I knew he was thinking. Chapter 4 A few minutes later, he said, Yes! We all went to... We went all around the world. My favorite place was Turkey because I really like Turkey. Italy because up high with Santa, it looked like the boot was going to kick us. I fell asleep. Chris! Chris, wake up! Ah! It was all a dream, but it was so real. Hey, Chris, it looks like Santa left you a note. It said, Dear Chris, thanks for helping me deliver the presents this year. You can help me anytime. Your pal, Santa. Suddenly, I heard two knocks at the door. It was Brandon and Jack with their parents. Let's open the gifts, they exclaimed. We opened them one by one. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! Exclamation, 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 exclamation point! Then we sang Christmas carols and said Merry Christmas, everyone. All about the author. All about the author. His name is Chris Miller. He was born in Ottawa in 1986. His mom's name is Elaine and his dad's name is Alan. He also has a brother named Aaron. Chris goes to Queen Elizabeth Public School. He lives at 1254 Pentland Street, Unit 28 in Oshawa. His hobbies are writing, math, and playing Lego. In his free time, he likes to play outside. His plans for the future are to work at the Toronto Sun like his dad. Autographs It was good, Chris, by Corey. It is great, Chris Mark. Oh, it is great, Chris. Mark. Cool story, me! CM. I was commenting on my own fucking board before. It was good. It was good. Carry the up. So I'm trying to show off the theoretic. Wicked! From Merrick! Dennis, July 14th, 96. Oh my god, the weeping. Merry Christmas, everyone! Exclamation, exclamation.
exclamation, 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 exclamation point! What about people who aren't so lucky here and mentally retarded? Like a little retarded boy putting on his own hat and coat. Or maybe a teenager will learn how to work at a job. The retarded needed can be helped. Won't you support the work of your local retarded children? This man dishes.